everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps and to the second video in the cupcake countdown to my 23rd birthday. So today we're going to be doing a strawberry chocolate swirl soap. I have actually made this in the past, but I'm going to update the way it looks a little bit. So our first step is to blend up the lye water solution and the oils. For this entire batch, I am using the piping recipe that is available at nurturesoap.com when you buy the Royalty Soaps piping being set for both the base of the soap cupcakes and the frosting. Okay, gonna pour this down the stick blender and give it a quick whir. I am now going to split off some of the batter to do the soap cupcake bottoms here. Then I'm going to add in some brown, really dark brown oxide. This is from TKB. The fragrance that I'm using today does discolor, but I want the discoloration to be even, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of that. And then the fragrance that I'm using for the bottom is Fudge Brownie. This is from Crafter's Choice and Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm now going to mix this up with the stick blender. This fragrance oil does increase trace a little bit, so I'm only going to mix a teeny tiny bit. I got as much off the stick blender as I possibly could because the next thing that I'm mixing up is pink. Then I'm just going to make sure everything is super good and incorporated and then we can start pouring into our little soap cupcake liners. Okay, time to start pouring in. So these cupcake liners are not the exact same as the ones I used in the previous video, but if you'd like to get you some, I will leave a link to the ones that I purchased on Amazon. This fragrance is divine. This is like my favorite chocolate fragrance fragrance that I have and probably my favorite one that I've ever found. It's just a really good one. Okay, so I've scraped the rest of the batter into this bowl. This was the same one I used for the chocolate. I just wiped it out really good. So now I'm going to add some color to this and the color I'm adding to this is um, the cosmetic, like I think it's called Reborn Pink. It's from TKB Trading and I've mixed that with just a little bit of oil and then I'm also going to add some poppy seeds. Oh wait, no, these are blueberry seeds, I'm sorry, from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And now I'm going to add some titanium dioxide that I mixed with oil this time instead of water. Just a little bit so we can see um, how pastel we can get it. Okay, definitely gonna need some more. Okay, so this is about the pink color that I want, so now I'm going to add in some sun ripened strawberry fragrance oil. This is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It says it contains vanilla, but I've never had a problem with it discoloring. And now I'm going to mix this up with the stick blender, and then I'm just going to wait until it gets to a pipeable consistency before we start putting the frosting on top of the soap cupcakes. Okay, time for piping. So I'm using the Royalty Soaps piping set, and one of the tips that comes with it. It's a tip that's very similar to the Wilton 1M. It's just kind of the Atiko version of that. So I'm going to put a little dollop. Ooh, that one's not as firm as the rest. <laughs> A little dollop in the middle of each soap here. That way I have a little guide whenever I start piping around. And then very gently, I'm going pretty slow. I'm squeezing more than I'm moving. I'm going to go around the outside edge, just like this. This is one of my absolute favorite tips for soap cupcakes. I just think it's so pretty. Sorry I had to put like music over this one last time. Um, there were guys mowing across the street and it was so loud that it ended up showing up on the uh, take and I 
didn't know it until I had already filmed everything, so that was rather a disappointment. Okay, so now I'm going to put another tiny little dollop here in the middle, just like I did on the first one. You don't have to do this, but since I'm planning on mounding these up pretty good, it's a good idea. And I'm gonna go around that one. Oh, I love frosting. <laughs> and you know what's funny is that in real life, I really don't. Like, I really dislike frosting, unless it's really good. Like, cream cheese frosting, like homemade, delicious. Uh, but that nasty fluffed <laughs> frosting that you get on stuff from bakeries, I just think is so, so gross. So I would never eat this much frosting on an actual cupcake, but on a soap cupcake, I think it looks really nice and pretty. So now I'm gonna add just the top layer on. Like I said, I have really mounded these up, which of course is what I wanted. I think they're so much more aesthetically pleasing whenever they're this tall. I'll put this last one on here. Oh my goodness, so scrumptious. Let's see, do any of them look kind of short? This one kind of looks short. Put a little squish on top of them. We waste no frosting here. <laughs> okay, so now it is time to put in the little embed. So I have these little chocolate bars, aren't they cute? They're going to go into the side, just like this. I will leave a link to this mold down in the description box below. I'm going to use this for quite a few other things. I really would like to do a, a mint chocolate chip soap at some point. I'll probably do just a regular um, bar of that though. Stuffing it in all the way down here. And then I have a little strawberry to go in next to it. I'm just gonna stick that right up top so that you can still see both of them. Oh my gosh, this is even cuter than I had originally imagined it would be. <laughs> Alrighty, so now I'm gonna spritz that with rubbing alcohol. And it is my personal opinion that this needs some glitter. So look what I got from Nurture Soap. This is a glitter spritzer. You put the glitter in it, push the little button, and it poofs the glitter out. Look at this. Isn't that handy? Oh my gosh, it's so great. And it's pretty precise, too, on where it's spritzing. I'm trying to get all of the back sides, too. That's something that I find I have messed up in the past, is getting all the front with glitter and then not getting the back. <laughs> And this is what they look like all close up. So I'm gonna let these sit for about 12 to 18 hours. Then I'll come back and take them out of their little molds. Okay, so it has been the proper amount of time and I can unmold these little cupcakes here. So I always pick mine up real gently, just in case. And you just peel off that silicone cupcake bottom. So that's what it looks like. And again, these, and again, the bottoms will discolor a lot darker because of the chocolate fragrance oil. I hope you guys are enjoying this little mini series. It sure is fun to make these cupcakes. It's been so long since I've made a lot of cupcakes. So these will be in the Etsy shop on August 15th. That is my next big release date. Of course, if I have a baby between now and then, I might have to postpone so you can be checking my personal Instagram and that's uh, Katie W. Carson um, and also the Facebook page for updates on that front if you don't see any cupcakes in the shop on the 15th. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow with the next batch of cupcakes.